an old man had eight hair on his head he went to a barber shop the barber in anger asked him shall i cut or count it the old man smiled and said color it life is to enjoy with whatever you have with you dear brothers and sisters i wish you all merry christmas today we commemorate the incarnation of god on earth our life is to enjoy with what god has given god has given his son jesus we are here to celebrate the birth of baby jesus the savior of the world and we call this celebration as christmas as people rejoice when winning a victory over their enemies by helping themselves to all their belongings god promised that throughout the world the people would rejoice during this great moment of the coming of the savior during today's first reading from the book of isaiah this great joy was compared to harnessed farm animals such being a symbol of enslavement as the weight of the bar was removed from the shoulder of the farm animals the great weight was taken off the shoulder of the people the book of isaiah compared this great joy to the joy that was experienced by god's chosen people when they defeated the midianites when the weight was taken off the shoulder of the people it was transferred upon the shoulders of the promised messiah for it is he who came to bear the sins of the world the next verse from the same reading described the characteristics of the promised messiah he is named wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace from this biblical passage we perceive the mystery of the holy trinity that the fullness of god was pleased to dwell bodily within jesus we read in the letter of paul to colossians chapter 1 9 chapter 1 verse 19 so through jesus the spiritual kingdom of god on earth and in heaven is established and upheld with the justice and righteousness now and forever during today's second reading from the letter to titus we heard that these things are happening the grace of god has appeared on earth baby jesus was chosen by god the father to bring us our salvation so what is our response our response to the grace of god the gift of jesus is to renounce impiety and worldly possessions worldly passions we are called to live lives of self control to be upright and godly in our thoughts our words and our actions while awaiting for the blessed hope and manifestation of the glory of our lord 
and Savior Jesus Christ. When he shall return at the end of time, we should be zealous to perform good deeds for Jesus who gave himself for us all so that we might be saved from all our sins. Through Jesus, we were purified to become a new Christian nation that is called the people of Jesus. And when we come to the gospel reading, gospel reading confirms that in the days of Emperor Augustus, baby Jesus was Baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem to the Virgin Mary who was engaged to Joseph because there was no room in the inn like the poor people of his days. Baby Jesus was born in a manger. In that environment, there was no hospital services available. There were no doctors and nurses. There were no white bed sheets. And there was no gathering of the biological family. Not too far away. Some shepherds were living in the fields, watching over their flocks at night to keep the wolves away. At that moment, a shining angel of God stood before them. The sudden brilliance scared the shepherds. After telling the shepherds not to be afraid, the angel told them that he was bringing good news of great joy for all the people. The people of those days and the people of today. Jesus our Savior, the promised Messiah, was born. And that is the good news. He could be found wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger not too far away. Then suddenly there was a multitude of heavenly hosts present who were praising God and singing. Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. You can imagine the joy of the shepherds from the presence of such a multitude. Curious to learn more, after the angel left, the shepherds went to Bethlehem to find baby Jesus that the Lord had announced to them. Hurrying to Bethlehem, they found Mary and Joseph standing by baby Jesus who was lying in the manger. Brothers and sisters, tonight we share in the joy of the shepherds we all hurried to the church. Though it is a drive-in mass, but we are in the church. To be with our spiritual brothers and sisters in Christ. If it is in the church, we should have sat together with our brothers and sisters. Physically, we are sitting apart. But spiritually, we are all united. We are all present in the hope of celebrating the coming of baby Jesus on earth. At the same time, although invisible, our faith tells us that Jesus is truly here present among us. So, are the Blessed Virgin Mary and Saint Joseph. So are all the saints of the church who dwell in the spiritual kingdom of God. 
and so is the multitude of multitude of heavenly host that sang on the night that baby jesus was born all of them alongside with us are celebrating the birth of jesus on christmas day brothers and sisters let us all realize that unless our christmas is hope giving peace giving joy giving and most important of all love giving and life giving then we have missed out the true essence and meaning of christmas i would like to conclude with the christmas prayer of wilda english god grant you the light in christmas which is faith the warmth of christmas which is love the radiance of christmas which is purity the righteousness of christmas which is justice the belief in christmas which is truth the all of christmas which is christ as we continue with the celebration of the holy mass let us thank god for this beautiful surrounding that warms our hearts and elevates our spirits for the glory of jesus may jesus the new one jesus bless you always amen